Barthes. I read a, a piece by Roland Barthes, who's a French philosopher, and he was writing about wrestling in Paris in the 1950s. Basically, ta compares wrestling to Greek melodrama, and that wrestlers play uh, emotions. Some guy plays loyalty. Another guy plays the, the betrayer. One guy plays the devil. One play plays the friend that nice you in the back. It, they play primal emotions. And, you know, the, I, I assume the vast majority of people, they know they're watching theater. But everybody suspends that and buys into the play. And the play speaks to very subconscious uh, primal feelings of people. And I think that's partly why so much of the wrestling audience is actually a very sophisticated audience. People think the wrestling audience is always kind of people that maybe haven't finished high school or something like that. And if you actually look at the demographics of people, at least who used to watch wrestling, I, mean, I assume it's still the same, m many are very educated and, and such. Uh, but people get this. Uh, uh, Rowan Barth has this uh, quote, I hope I can remember it. He calls it, uh, light without shadow, emotion without reserve. It's that moment of wrestling where you can just get rid of all your inhibitions and scream for the one you like and boo the one you don't like. You don't get too many moments to do that. And I, I think it's about that. It's, it's the emotional connection. It's not, it's not about the sport, it's about the theater.